All right, everyone. So I hate doing a video like this because I do think it's important that when we talk about these athletes or coaches that we give them the benefit of the doubt in all cases. Okay. So we've been seeing this story of Doc Rivers, you know, appearing as we put in the headline to throw Damian Lillard under the bus. So we're going to read what he said and then you guys can make your view or you, you, you know, construct your opinion based off this, and then we're going to give a little bit of our thoughts. So I didn't even realize this is what Doc Rivers was saying. I didn't even realize Dame was traded two or three days before training camp. We were at dinner, and he said, Coach, I didn't work out all summer. It's the first time in my life that I've not worked out. I was so scared of getting injured working out. And so he said this on the Bill Simmons podcast. He knew he was going to get traded. You know, I did some light running. I did some shooting with no one in the gym, but I didn't go hard at all. He was honest about it, and that's one of the reasons you love him. He said, this is the worst shape I've ever been in. When you start camp that way, you don't ever get in shape. You never catch up, and he felt that way. He's so proud that he's already in great shape right now, which is amazing. So here's the thing, okay, now that we've heard the quote. On one hand, Rivers is clearly taking a tone of uh, admiration for Damian Lillard, right? saying that, hey, you know, he's in good shape now, and he really explains why he wasn't in the shape it was last year. It was about being traded. They don't want to get hurt. Fine. The problem is, is that Doc Rivers has now gotten this, um, you know, label of kind of throwing his players under the bus when things don't go his way. Now, to be fair to Doc Rivers, um, you know, James Harden threw him all the way under the bus with the 76ers and then just said, I'm out of here. Right. I mean, that's how it went down and he got fired for that. So this is, you know, certainly there's blaming all around by players, blaming by coaches, by GMs, by, you know, there's always this kind of blame game. But people are, so, you know, really, I guess I'm asking, let us know what you think about this. I, I don't really know. You know, it, it does seem to me, at least I'm just going off my initial reaction. My initial reaction to this quote was, he just threw him under the bus. That was my initial reaction. You know, as you think about it more and you're trying to make sure you're being fair to everybody involved, you go, ah, I don't know. You know, he was striking kind of a nicer tone. But it just seemed like this is something like, yeah, that's, you know, almost pointing out maybe that's one of the reasons that they didn't have the season they had when there was plenty of other excuses as to why they didn't have the season they had. The biggest of is injuries, right, and firing your coach halfway through the year. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.